Welcome back to Valps and Zoo, where we today are building something which will first really be tied into the rest of the zoo at a later point. But I will explain more about that soon. The last episode was a short one. I had Covid for most of last week, so I didn't really had a lot of motivation for a longer video. But I still wanted to show off what I had been working on. I'll make sure to give a better tour of the reindeers and the other new installments in the park at a later point. Today we are not doing anything with animals, it is going to be an implied guest feature instead. I'm planning on making a small corner of the park into a resort of a kind with some sleeping facilities, which is something you see more and more of in zoos at least here in Europe, and with this zoo being partly owned by a ski resort, it made good sense to offer some alternative housing attractions for the guests, uh, which are placed in and around the zoo. So I hope you don't mind a bit of an alternative build, and if you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we are building what seems to often be called an Aurora Hut or similar, because you'll be sleeping under a glass roof or dome-like structure facing the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Light as you can also call it. They seem to be pretty common in Finland but I imagine you can find these uh, huts elsewhere too. It seemed like a thing that would be fun to implement in this park. Of course the guests can't actually use them but I believe they at least are going to look great in the background of the park placed on a mountainside. I don't often do buildings like this, especially not with visible furnitures and stuff like that inside of them. So I did it to challenge my detailing skills a bit too. Especially the bed was tricky, so what you see me build in this video I ended up changing again after I ended the recording. I also changed a bit more than that, like adding lamps and other minor details. Today I'm just focusing on the building itself. Another day we will decide on how many of these we want in the park and the exact placement of them and so. I also want to get better at putting stuff on up on the workshop. So this build will end up there as well. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go and have a look at it. I did put a small animal transport box up on the workshop a few days ago. It had a good response, so make sure to check out that as well. Otherwise I feel like this zoo is starting to find its style. Choosing foliage for it has been a bit tricky since there isn't a lot of good tundra and tiger plants from northern Europe in Planet Zoo. But since everything is covered in snow, it makes a lot of the plants look less specific if that makes sense. So I've decided not to get too picky with the plants being from the right continent and instead just keep it pretty simple. So far I have only used a handful of species but I might expand a bit on that later. Most important for me is to not use a tree full of leaves that then would be green in the winter or place flowers or something like that because that would end up breaking the winter feeling. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, check out the final result in a moment and otherwise you can do it through the workshop.